Hi, my name is Simon Cotter, and I'm Senior Manager in the Product Management Team for Oracle Linux and Virtualization. And today I'm going to give you a quick overview on how you can create a secure remote work environment thanks to Oracle VM VirtualBox. This demo is dedicated to IT administrators and will show how to create an encrypted image for remote workers so they can securely access confidential applications. Obviously, the solution requires VirtualBox running on a desktop or laptop environment. This demonstration will show uh, a VirtualBox unattended operating system installation, so an automated way to install an operating system on a virtual machine. The option to encrypt the virtual machine, thanks to disk image encryption a feature that is there on VirtualBox, the creation of an OVA, so an open virtualization format, uh, containing a virtual machine, and the option to possibly automate the entire process. So let's start. I created a, a script file that at the end allows to automate, uh, and on this example, the installation of Microsoft Windows 10. So with uh, those commands, this script, I can get a Microsoft Windows 10 virtual machine automatically created, automatically encrypted on top of Oracle VM VirtualBox. And here we have um, all, all the steps required. First of all, I'm going to define two M variables. The first one is related to the virtual machine name. And the second one is related to the ISO I'm going to leverage to get the operating system installed. Then we have commands dedicated to the virtual machine creation and the virtual machine configuration. And as you can see, we have the option on how to create the virtual machine, create the, the virtual disk that is going to be associated to the, virtu to the virtual machine. Here I have two important steps. So I here I'm defining the password or the encryption key that is going to be leveraged for the virtual machine encryption for the virtual disk encryption. And I'm going to apply the same to, to the virtual disk that I just created on the step before. Next, I'm going to add another uh, storage controller. Uh, it's a NIDA controller. And to the same, I'm going to associate the ISO that is going to be leveraged uh, for the Microsoft Windows 10 um, installation or automated installation. Then I have some option to define, for example, the boot order, the amount of memory, and even the graphic controller that is going to be leveraged by the virtual machine. Uh, that said, again, by the CLI, I'm going to define that this VM is will be installed by an attended installation. An attended installation is a feature we introduced with VirtualBox 5.2. And here I'm saying uh, which one will be the ISO that is going to be leveraged the username that is going to be created on the Microsoft Windows virtual machine, as well as the password. Here we have a key. This is the, the trial key for Microsoft Windows 10, public available. Uh, I'm also saying that I would like to get the VirtualBox guest edition installed on my Windows 10 virtual machine. And here we also have the time zone that can be defined within the virtual machine. So by executing um, this script, I can then get the VM started and also here, I'm also supplying the encryption key that is required to get the VM started. So by executing this script, I'm going to get the medium created, the unattended installation started, and the virtual machine booting. Now, if I open the VirtualBox GUI, I can easily identify that I have one new virtual machine named Microsoft Windows 10. And by executing a double click on the same, I can immediately see that the Microsoft Windows setup process started. As you can see now, the setup is running. Um, uh, the unattended installation will also manage possible updates related to, to Microsoft Windows. And we proceed also to create the user that we have defined. And at the same time, we will we'll also install the VirtualBox guest edition required to, to get the best experience possible while running Microsoft Windows on top of Oracle VM VirtualBox. Once the setup is completed, you have then the opportunity to check your virtual machine configuration. By checking the settings of the same, you will have the opportunity to verify that the disk, disk encryption 
for your virtual machine is enabled. And then, last but not least, you can do or you can start your virtual machine. You will know that while starting the virtual machine from the GUI, the encryption key will be asked or prompt, or you will be prompted to supply the encryption key. And only by supply the, uh, the encryption key, you will be able to get the virtual machine started. So without the encryption key, no one is going to get access to your data. When your virtual machine is ready to be shared to the end user or the final consumer, by the VirtualBox GUI, you have the opportunity to export the same into an OVF or OVA file, so open virtualization format. And you can decide on which file system you are going to create the OVA file, click on continue, define all the possible uh, options related to the virtual machine that you're going to export and going to share with the final user, even a possible license that has to be accepted to then click on export and get the file created. While creating the OVA file, we also have to supply the encryption key. The encryption key is required to get the virtual machine exported. Once exported, the only thing will have to be uh, to get the same OVA file shared to the final user. And the final user by the VirtualBox GUI will just have to import the same OVA file to get the virtual machine created. I would like to thank you for the time. And here you can also find and see our social accounts where you can get in touch with us. Feel free to reach out for any kind of question related to Oracle VM VirtualBox and the possible leverage of the same for remote work use case.